crew considerations on the starships. Cabins give each individual 10 cubic meters of space. That doesn't seem like very much. On larger vessels, private rooms are common. As ships get smaller, the number of crew packed into single wardroom into a single wardroom increases. Asari preferred shared spaces even on large vessels, while Krogan territorial inst instincts make it impossible for them to cohabitate even on the smallest ships. On smaller vessels, hot bunking is the norm. Why does this all sound sexual to me? Crew members assigned to different watches share the same bunk. When one gets off duty, he wakes up the person in the bunk. While that crewman is on duty, the first gets his rack time. That does not sound pleasant. Spacecraft compartments can be isolated by airtight doors in case of decompression. The cinematic vision of explosive decompre decompression is fiction. Hold compartments either take enough damage that occupants are killed instantly, or leak slowly enough that they are able to reach protective gear. That is totally true. Compartments are equipped with emergency life support apparatus, apparati, fireproof, plastic bubbles with air bottles. Small ones stowed, Elsa, comfortably accommodate one individual inflated. Damage control procedure cuts off ventilation to burning compartments. Without oxygen to consume, fires die in seconds. The compartment is repressurized afterwards for crew recovery. Mass effect fields create an artificial gravity, agrav, plane below the decks, preventing muscle, muscle atrophy and bone loss in zero G. I don't know why they spelled it that way. Large vessels arrange their decks perpendicular to their thrust axis. The highest deck are at the bow and the lowest at the engines. This allows agrav to work with the inertial effects of thrust. Ships that can land arrange their decks laterally so the crew can move about while the vessel is on the ground. This is unlike the decks move. Warships normally turn off their agrav systems during combat, reducing the heat generated by systems and increasing combat endurance. To provide a point of reference for navigating in zero G, floors are painted a different color from the walls and ceiling. So during combat, there's no gravity? That sounds intense. All right, so we have explored over there. That's where the doctor was. I believe we looked over here as well. We did. Those are my quarters now, even though they don't really show that. And let's see where the elevator takes us. I don't think we've taken the elevator here. I assumed it went up, but obviously it doesn't. Where does this go? Don't scare me like that game. Froze for a second. Hey, more people and more things that I, d oh, there's a whole different set down here that I didn't do. Oh, I can just, uh, to change a... Oh. Can I just talk to him, though? Nice ship you got, Shepard. I can. What can I do for you? Let's talk about you, you big hulking man. Sure. What's your story, Rex? There's no story. Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. I bet you got a, at least a couple. You Krogans live for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting Centuries? Adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. That's kind of still ongoing, isn't it? That's unfortunate. I heard about that. You know, they almost did the same to us. What? It's not the same. Yeah, no, it's totally not the same. I don't know what the Turians did to us, but I'm pretty sure it's not the same. It seems pretty much the same to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? And I suppose it's destroying your entire species? Yeah, seriously, how was that the Paragon answer? I suppose it isn't all the same. I don't expect you to understand, but don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. Yeah, touchy subject? No, <laughs> let's not... Oh. Does that bother you, the fact that your species is slowly dying because of a genetic mutation? Yeah, let's not bring that up too much. Sorry, Rex. I wasn't trying to get you upset. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. I knew. As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. You are very The genophage infected us. 
but it's not what's killing us. What isn't killing you then? All right, let's talk about that. Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any stronger. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. Lots of species have left their homes and prospered. But they go to colonize new worlds. We're not settlers. We're warriors. We want to fight. So we leave. Hire ourselves out. And most of us never go back. So, when I said they had a side to it, doesn't look like they have a side to it. They didn't need to be extinct, but they did need to be uh, caged, it looks like. Let's talk about the genophage. What can you tell me about the genophage? Ask the Solarians if you want details. They made it. All I know, it makes breeding nearly impossible. Thousands die in stillbirth, and most never get that far. Every Krogan is infected, every one, and no one's rushing to find a cure. Why aren't you trying to find a cure? Also, does that stop you from trying? Why don't the Krogan try to find a cure? When was the last time you saw a Krogan scientist? You ask a Krogan, would he rather find a cure for the genophage or fight for credits? He'll choose fighting every time. It's just who we are, Shepard. I can't change that. Nobody can. I think that is all that I can talk about, so I see. So long, Rex. Shepard. Shepard. Looks like we got a few more things to talk about here. Non-council races, the Krogan genophage. The genophage bioweapon was created to end the Krogan rebellions. From the start, the Krogan had overwhelmed the council. Only timely first contact with the Turians saved the council races. The Turians fought the Krogan to a standstill, but sheer weight of Krogan numbers indicated the war could not be won through conventional means. The Turians collaborated with the Solarians to genetically engineer a counter to the rapid breeding of the Krogan. So they were making a lot of kids. The genophage virus gained the energy to replicate by eating key genetic sequences. Every cell in every Krogan had to be altered for the weapon to be foolproof, otherwise the Krogan could have used gene therapy to fix the affected tissues. Once the genophage strain could find no more genes to eat, it would starve and die, limiting spin-off mutation and contamination. This created genetic flaw is hereditary. The Cerularians believed the genophage would have been used would be used as a deterrent, a position the Turians views, viewed as naive. Once the project was complete, the Turians mass-produced and deployed it. The Krogan homeworld, their colonies, and all occupied worlds were infected. The resulting mutation made only one in a thousand Krogan pregnancies carried a term. It did not reduce fertility, but offspring viability. The rare females able to carry ch children to term became prizes the Krogan warlords fought brutal battles over. The Krogan are a shadow of their former glory. While the rebellions took place centuries ago, they are constantly reminded of the horror of the genophage and of their inability to counter it. The release of the genophage is still controversial, bitterly debated in many circles, as you might expect. It's pretty hardcore. Uh, I, oh, I can equip people here. Fair enough. I thought it said just like walk up and talk to the people, but walk up and talk to their lockers instead. How you doing, Ashley? Commander. Uh, can we talk just girl to girl? Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? In a bed? I'm sorry, Commander. I need to get my duty squared away. Damn it. I wouldn't mind talking more later, though. Oh, all right. Well, there's a glimmer of hope there, even though I've been told. There's no hope there. What's your opinion of the last mission? Unless I'm Kinda wish you got there sooner, Commander. No offense, I appreciate the rescue. I just wish- That we saved everybody and not just you. You wish we'd been able to save the rest of your unit. Yes, ma'am. If I had been more alert, we wouldn't have been cut down by an ambush. It's not your fault. The Geth are perfect ambushers. They don't move, they don't make noise, they don't even breathe. It's not your they fault. They have flashlight heads, ma'am. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. How are we doing? What's your opinion of the last mission? Kind of wish you'd got there sooner. Commander. Right, we 
Okay. No offense. I appreciate the rescue. Right, well, I just wish we, we'd be able to if I had been more We just alert, went through all we this. Cut down. They, I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. All right. We're good. Dismissed, chief. Ma'am. I got like paragon. Maybe they don't give me paragon points for talking to like people that I'm clearly trying to seduce. Garrus, how you doing? Thanks for bringing me on board, Commander. I knew working with the Spectre would be better than life at CSEC. Of course it would. Have you worked with the Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. At CSEC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. Yeah, it's not that bad. For the most part, the rules are there for a reason. Maybe. But sometimes it feels like the rules are only there to stop me from doing my work. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. No. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. That's the only thing you got, really? Oh, God, whenever I shoot somebody, there's just so much paperwork. That's the reason. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad. But as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. c sex handling of Saren was tittin'. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. How did c sex handle Saren? I hope you made the right choice. I'd hate for you to regret it later. Well, that's sort of why I teamed up with you. It's a chance for me to get off the Citadel, see how things are done outside c sex Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. If getting the job done means endangering innocent people, then no. We get the job done right, not fast. Got it? I wasn't trying to. I understand, Commander. I'm going to give you just as many rules. All right, this is probably going to give me another codex entry. What the hell is this tank? It's a Mako tank? I like the sound of that. Actually, I don't. Mako is killing the planet. The Normandy. The Mako Infantry Fighting Vehicle was designed for the System Alliance's frigates. Though the interior is cramped, an M35 is small enough to be carried in the cargo bay and easily deployed on virtually any world. With its turreted 155mm mass accelerator and coaxially mounted machine gun, the Mako can provide a fire team with weapons support as well as mobility. Since Alliance Marines may be required to fight on any world, the Mako is environmentally sealed and equipped with microthrusters for use on low-gravity planetoids. The Mako is powered by a sealed hydrogen-oxygen fuel cell and includes a small element zero core. While not large enough to nullify the vehicle's mass, the core can reduce it enough to be safely airdropped. When used in conjunction with thrusters, it also allows the Mako to extricate itself from difficult terrain. I do like the sound of that, but it does kind of make it sound like this Mass Effect thing is just a cure-all. Just, it turns off gravity, it is an unlimited power source, all that kind of stuff. Hey, requisition officer! Commander, looking for some extra supplies before you head out? Is that flashing beacon really necessary, sir? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Yeah, why do I have to pay you? I'm the fucking captain. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. Let's talk about a few things first. Tell me about these licenses. I was told to buy them for you. What are licenses? Why do you need them? Manufacturers sell licenses. Each license allows me to buy and sell a certain brand of products. I already have several basic ones, but you'll need to buy more if you want me to bring in different brands. Many of the best licenses are hard to get, but they're well worth the cost if you can find them. Show me. Let's see what you've got. Oh, damn. You it. bet, Commander. There was more things that I wanted to do. All right. Uh, he's got some good stuff. And I know because I can't afford it. Ooh, I could afford that. Could afford that. But I'm probably not going to get it. All right. I do have a bit of money now. I'm surprised how much I have. I didn't have that much a little bit ago. 
Uh, more codex entries probably on uh, manufacturers or... It's primary, really. Biotics Omni is the tool. ability. Omni tools are handheld devices that combine a computer microframe, sensor analysis pack, and manufacturing fabricator. Versatile and reliable, an Omni tool can be used to analyze and adjust the functionality of most standard equipment, including weapons and armor, from a distance. The fabrication module can rapidly assemble small three-dimensional objects from common reusable industrial plastics, ceramics, and light alloys. This allows for field repairs and modifications to most standard items, as well as the reuse of salvaged equipment. Omni tools are standard issue for soldiers and first in colonists. It's not for everybody though, right? It's just certain classes? Yeah? All right. Looking for supplies? Uh, let's investigate. Uh, tell me about uh, new items. How often will you get new items? Well, that depends on how many licenses you've purchased. But I'll rotate items on a regular basis regardless. And anytime we land someplace with a big enough port, I'll buy, sell, and trade whatever I can. Check back often. I need to move items quickly, so only the most basic items will be stocked consistently. Like, he didn't sell Omni tools, Let's did he? Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Did he sell Omni tools? I mean... I didn't see it. Nope. As far as I can tell, he's... Yeah, just so expensive. So expensive. And, like, I'm sure the Kessler is actually what I'm on. No, I'm on the, uh, the Stinger, but still, the Kessler is mostly better. Actually, no, it's not. Stinger 2 is so much better. More damage. More shots before it overheats and higher accuracy rating. Like, that's not worth it at all. Where's the Stinger 3? Do you not sell that? He doesn't sell, he doesn't sell a Stinger at all. Terrible. What do I even have you around here for? Now right, let's drop down, see what else we can find. There's still a couple people I want to talk to, primarily. One who refuses to get infected with anything. Hey, field integrity monitor. Engineer? You're my chief engineer? Do you need more power? Commander, you know that Quarian Tally? She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. Yeah, good. She can do whatever the hell she wants. I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. Give her a month on board and she'll know more about our engines than I do. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. Oh, I brought her for many reasons. I figured she'd be a real asset to the team. You've got an eye for talent, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. Oh, I have an eye for talent, and that's exactly why I came down here. I mean, let's talk about the stealth system. Fill me in on the IES stealth system. How does it work exactly? You can't hide a ship out in space. They emit too much heat and radiation. Too easy for sensors to pick them up. Unless you find a way to capture those emissions. So our stealth systems trap the energy we give off in storage sinks built into the ship itself. No emissions to give away our location. Not sure that's Eventually possible. the sinks have to be vented. More than a few hours silent running and they overheat cook us inside our own hull. But then we would be emitting heat. Like, you can't just contain all the heat. It has to go. Whatever. So we're invisible? There's no way for anyone to detect us? A visual scan can still pick us up. If they look. out a window can see us plain as day. But you have to be pretty close to get an actual visual out in space. Bullshit! Most vessels rely on scanners. As long as the stealth systems are engaged, they can't see us. Not unless we accelerate to FTL speeds. That's, that's hilarious to me. I'm sorry. Just like... <laughs> so, we have this elaborate system to disguise all our heat and all this kind of stuff, and then they go, So, nobody can see us? Well, if they look... <laughs> Why doesn't it work with faster than light travel? Cranking up the FTL, blue shifts our emissions, pushes them into frequencies too high to capture in the sinks. As soon as we make the jump, it's like setting off a flare. But our... Sensors can pick up our location whenever we enter or exit FTL flight. But for short-range missions, our stealth systems are amazing, and we've got the only one. But our heat sink should be with us in faster than light. So, like, the change in frequency shouldn't affect our systems. And yeah, whatever. Investigate. Let's talk about you, engineer. Where else have you served, Adams? You name a class of Alliance ship, I've probably served on it. Everything from dreadnoughts and carriers right down to frigates like the Normandy. 
My last assignment was on the Tokyo. Only a cruiser, but she was a good ship. Full of tentacles. Couldn't hold a candle to the Normandy, though. 